The company responsible for last week's chemical spill just outside Charleston, West Virginia, filed for bankruptcy. Freedom Industries is facing at least 31 lawsuits because of the accident, which left hundreds of thousands without drinking water. Jeff Pegues found there are still problems with the water supply. Good, aren't we? Uh -oh. Residents of Putnam County, West Virginia, who thought their water troubles were over, got some unwelcome news this morning, an order by the water company instructing them to avoid drinking and limit contact with the water. Testing revealed higher levels of the leak chemical than had been determined safe. I then took a shower after they told me it was green light. That's what made me mad. 300,000 residents had been under water restrictions since last Friday when a chemical used to clean coal leaked into the water supply. Residents couldn't shower or cook with it and had to drink bottled water. Wednesday, the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta warned pregnant women to avoid drinking the water. Dr. Vikas Capel. We generally advise that if uh, chemical exposures can be avoided during pregnancy, that women should try to do that, particularly when we know little about the chemicals, as in this case. It's not clear how harmful the chemical, known as MCHM, is. There have been no studies done on its effects in humans. That lack of knowledge worries many West Virginia residents. Jenny Burns is a Charleston business owner. I'm not cooking with this water. I'm not drinking this water. As a matter of fact, in here, I've washed the dishes with bottled water, rinsed them off with bottled water and dried them. Several lawsuits have been filed against Freedom Industries, and Scott, the bankruptcy filing earlier today will have an impact on how those lawsuits proceed. Jeff, thanks very much.